we got up early this morning and left our little glamping spot and now we are in Connecticut. Welcome to Connecticut, a gateway to New England. So anyway, hope it's not like a gateway drug, <laughs> which I think I've already taken that for the AT. So um, we're just taking our time and um, today the plan is to go about eight miles. So we'll see how it goes. All right, got messy hair, hiker hair, but it is clean. So it'll be the last time it's clean for a while. All right, check you on the trail. Okay, I'm not too far into the trail and I'm already hot and sweaty, but it's like um, probably right around 65. So it's not that hot, but it is to me. And um, so far the trail is not too bad. It's been a while since I've backpacked with a heavy pack. I didn't weigh my pack today, but um, before I left, it was probably about 24 pounds. And then I have three liters of water and a couple more things in it that I added. So probably around 30, something like that. Anyway, we are getting ready to stop in a little bit on this one stop. It's at Bulls Bridge and it's a covered bridge. So there's like two covered bridges that I'll see on the trail. And if you're noticing, Charles, we're Cajun, he's not here with me this week. He hurt his back, I mean his neck. So he's at home recuperating and it's me and Garbo. Girls trip. So we're having a good time so far. Anyway, check you later. I thought that said hell closed, <laughs> but it's well is closed, which I've got plenty of water and I'm gonna wait here for Garbo. Coming up to the first campsite of the 10 mile bridge or 10 mile, whatever, 10 mile river. So this is the campsite. The, it's got a privy back there and I saw a bear box. This is the trail going back point one to the um, shelter. I don't like shelters, if I can avoid it. And then there's a bridge. You can see lots of bridges today. Well, at least two. <laughs> two big ones. So I'm just gonna sit right here and wait for Garbo. This 
is day two on the Connecticut Trail. And I've just now come to this view right here. Very pretty. So far I haven't seen very many views here, but I'm sure in the fall time this will be really pretty with even prettier with the trees changing. I just came from up there where those rocks are. Nice. Last night there were a lot of owls, a couple owls around us. They kept talking. It was a little spooky. But I fell asleep and I did good. <laughs> All right. Plan for the day right now is to stop in Kent and get lunch. Okay, I'll check you later. Okay, day two is full of some challenges right now. Um, I'm getting ready to go up. I don't know if you can see it up there. It's kind of rocky and it's straight up. Uh, Connecticut has been challenging, um, but I can get through it. Might be a little slow, but I will do it. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we stopped at the Mount Algo shelter just for a little break, a potty break. Here's their potty. They're privy. It's nice. It's big and roomy. A little bit more privacy. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, if anybody knows what it is, let me know. Anyway, this is the back of the shelter. Lots of space for tents and hammocks down this way. We're only like 0.3 from Kent. We're going to go get lunch. Anyway, nice campground over there. Camp spaces. And then over here too. In Connecticut, on the Appalachian Trail, you cannot have a fire. So, anyway, it's been raining a little bit off and on. Just like sprinkles and here's the back of the of the shelter has a bear box and the creek that runs in front of it is running um, it's got plenty of water garbo's in here it's got a picnic table there's garbo and shelter. All right. See you later. Good morning. It's day three and it rained all night. It's raining now so we gotta pack up our stuff in the rain. And <clears throat> I hate this. I hate it when it's raining but sometimes it does that. Hopefully it won't be raining all day. So our plan today is our shuttle driver, Chris, is going to meet us about two miles down the road. We're gonna take out all of our heavy stuff and then slap pack to um, another area where she'll meet us and um, we'll get our heavy stuff back from her and then hike to wherever we're gonna camp. So that's the goal for today. Or 
we might get off and let the rain go by. Who knows? Okay, I'll see you later on as the day progresses. Hey, we're leaving today. We're going to be slack packed. We're going, um, it's pretty. This is what we can't buy. And it goes into the Housatonic River. Got this nice little slippery bridge. <laughs> So our plan is to meet our shuttle driver about two miles up, take out all of our heavy stuff, our tent. Everything is heavier since it's got rained on. Then we're going to, it's a short day, hike into Cornwall Bridge and stay at this dairy farm. And tomorrow he said it's gonna be a washout. So we'll probably stay there again tomorrow too. Okay. It looks nice and green and lush from the rain all night last night. I didn't hear any owls, but anyway, we made it through the night to enjoy day number three on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> We took a zero yesterday because it was supposed to rain. We were told that and it looked like it was going to. But where we were staying, which was Cornwall, it did not rain. So we decided to do some slap packing. So Kim has her truck and so I dropped her off at where we stopped in Cornwall and I came up to um, Falls Village. So we'll meet in the middle. I will hike towards Cornwall. She will hike towards Salisbury and she'll pick up the truck and then pick me up. So I'm not sure. I think it's like almost nine miles or something like that. So and then we're going to stay in um, Salisbury tonight and tomorrow and hopefully get everything finished. So it looks like it's gonna be a cool day and a fun day. view I think and right behind me somewhere back there is the racetrack and um, the place that we stayed last night Tom he said that um, 
can we get a good view of it? That Paul Newman used to race there. Lots of celebrities will race there. A lot of celebrities live here in Connecticut. Anyway, so far it's been a pretty good trail. I've made good time and um, I'm gonna stop and have a little second breakfast. Okay, check you later. Just one of my views this morning. The trail is full of ups and downs and rocks and straight paths. And every now and then, you get a firm field. It's so pretty. And there's been some rain, so everything is pretty lush and thick and green. This is where I feel like I can make up some time. There are some rocks here. I'm almost finished for the day. I'm coming down all these rocks, down the mountain, and I have this. I don't know if you can see it. Woo! <laughs> I just almost fell. Let me turn it around. This is called Roger's Not Notch or something. I don't know. So I gotta go down here. I'm glad I got my little backpack on. All right, I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I made it, didn't fall. And there's a big old boulder right there. It wasn't that bad. So now I gotta go back down this way. But I'm almost done for the day. Okay, see ya. This is part of the trail in Falls Village that we walked into. The Housatonic River is what you probably hear and it's to the right of me and there's like a little waterfall that we're walking to Great Falls now. Don't confuse it with Niagara Falls. Very pretty. Good morning. Oops, starting today, it is um, Thursday. And we stayed in Salisbury last night at Right there's the Housatonic River. We stayed in Salisbury last night with a lady named Vanessa. She has a 300 year old house. Um, and she takes in hikers. There were some hikers there. Um, one was a through hiker, one was a section hiker, and I don't know what the other one was doing. And then um, Garbo and I. And very lovely lady, very nice. And it was good to be there, take a shower, and we'll stay there again tonight because we've been slack packing. So that's a good way of doing it. Um, so today, really gonna be a shorter day. I think we're gonna do about five miles. 
so or something like that anyway um i'll take you along as stop as we see something cool all right I finally made it up the mountain and it was only like a little over a mile but it took me a long time. I talked to a local guy for a while. So I'm at this beautiful view and I'm gonna have a snack. So um I'll check you later. This is called the giant's thumb, but I'm calling it a standing stone that could transport, transport me to Scotland. I could be seeing Jamie Fraser. Very magical. This is the other side of it. I'm gonna touch it. And if I'm missing, it's because I'm in Scotland. <laughs> Hopefully it's more present day. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. The standing stone. <sighs> it didn't transport me, but I don't have on any jewels and that's how um, Claire got transported. Anyway, they're over here. I don't know if you watch um, the Outlander show, but when Roger got sold to the Indians, they actually had to go up to New York to get him, and he found some standing stones there. Um, I think it was the Mohawks that he was he was sold into, and there's a Mohawk trail all around here, so that could be one of the standing stones that Roger tried to get to. Anyway, all right, see you later if I'm not in Scotland. Another pretty view. You can barely see, but the leaves are beginning to change up here some. This has been a good hike, pretty easy. Now, I don't have that far to go to complete my day. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I just came from that path and it was basically straight up like that. It was a little sketchy at points, but I made it. And now, 
I've got this to go down. It's a little ladder. This should be fine. Oh well. Following the white blazes. So I just came down the ladder from way up there and it wasn't that bad. Going down the mountain before the ladder was a little sketchier, but that wasn't bad at all. I'm about a half a mile away now. And here's my pack. All right, check you later. Well, tomorrow's our last day um, on the trail and we're staying in Salisbury and the house that we're staying is right across the street. It's a 300 year old house and the graveyard is right here across the street. So far, nothing strange has happened. But these, some of these graves are very old. They go back to the Revolutionary War. Um, someone told me that they also, like an Indian War, so I'm thinking maybe French Indian War. I don't know. But they're really old set of tombstones. Can't even read what's on it. Anyway. I think it's really interesting. Old cemeteries. A lot of history here. Okay, we're gonna have dinner in a little bit and then settle down for the evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's our last day on the Appalachian Trail in Connecticut. So we're going up to Bear Mountain and going to the border of Massachusetts. So we'll see you later. We're actually today taking a blue blaze from up near Bear Mountain. I think it will intersect with the AT. It's supposed to be easier and um, it runs parallel with AT. So that's what blue blazing is. Um, it's straight up. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Anyway, the trail is better. It's not bad. Okay. See you soon. So I'm coming near the end of the trail. And I've been thinking about this time up in Connecticut. And what a great time that I had hiking with Garbo. And um, I did miss Cajun. Uh, but I learned a lot about myself also. Um, and the Connecticut Trail is is a challenge in part, and part of it is uh, moderately easy, but overall it's a good trail to hike. Um, it's not that long, but um, we have yeah, um, white blazed, which means we stayed on the Appalachian Trail and we spent the night, several nights on the trail. Um, we platinum blazed and that was good because uh, what that is is that we slap packed and stayed in town we stayed in cornwall two nights one of those was a zero because we thought it was going to rain and a lovely farmhouse in the i think colt's foot colt's foot valley i don't know and then we um Platinum Blaze two nights in Salisbury with the most lovely, beautiful Vanessa, 300 year old house across the street from the graveyard. And um, it is haunted. I haven't, I didn't get scared, but last night we were in our room and um, there's a mirror in the room and I kept seeing like, something like waving. I know Garbo was on her phone watching something, the lights were off. Could have been the shadows from her. I don't know, I just stopped looking that way because I did not want to see something I didn't want to see. <laughs> um, but anyway, and then today we're doing a little bit of blue, blue blazing following a trail that is supposed to be a little bit easier to get onto the AT with. Um, so, same amount of miles that we would have done and we'll connect with the AT. But it's been a good trip. 
Um, I enjoy challenging myself and hiking and backpacking. It is a physical thing because your body has to do it, but it is more of a mental thing because there are times when you just don't want to do it, but you have to tell your mind. Your mind has to tell your body, yes, you can. And then your body has to tell your mind, yes, we can. If that makes any sense. Um, and there are times where, like when I was sitting in my tent and it was raining, and the next morning I had to pack it and it was heavy. What am I doing this for? But it was a good experience. And I know that I can do just about anything I set my mind to. So that's one reason why I like backpacking and hiking. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll be up to the top soon to the Connecticut, Massachusetts border. So I'll check you later. <laughs>
I mean, it was at least 10 miles, but really probably about what, half a mile? I don't know. <laughs> Felt awful. And I kept thinking, it, there better be a really good view for this. And it is. So behind me, I think somewhere is Massachusetts behind me. So we're on Bear Mountain and it's the highest point in Connecticut. And it's beautiful. It was worth it. 